Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. Uh, this is Andrea, I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for January 2021 for the sign of Taurus. So I hope you're well Taurus. Let's get straight into this and pull your message from Spirit card. And remember, it can these readings can just be advice or they can be something specific. So let's see what we get for you. What do we have please Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message for our lovely Taurians? Thank you. Oh, very nice. We have, you see this person there being given some kind of divine gift. So we have receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. Isn't that beautiful? So it's your time to receive. Okay. So what do we have, please, angels, spirits, guides? What is the message? Taurus needs to hear the most. That turned over really quickly. Okay. So we have number 34, spirit messages. Observe limitations. Now, limitations can be how we hold ourselves back. Um and where you're being intuitively guided to. So it feels quite a poignant energy there. Okay, Taurus, so I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the issue or challenge you face now to, now to the end of January 2021 that you need help from Spirit on. Second card is the advice from Spirit and the third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have, please, for Taurus, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message from Spirit for Taurus for January 2021, please? Thank you. So your challenge, we have the Three of Swords. Queen of Wands, she's appearing a lot at the moment. Generally it's Aries for me as a reader, but it can be fire energy. Uh, so Leo, Sagittarius, or the energy of uh, someone or the energy of a situation. We have the Queen of Wands, that's in the advice from Spirit. And the Page of Swords is your outcome. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, Taurus. What do we have for Taurus, please? Message for Taurus. January 2021, what is the message from Spirit for Taurus, please? Okay. Starting with this Three of Swords. Thank you. Three of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is clarifying the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups clarifies the Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck we have the Hermit. clarify this Queen of Cups. Two Queens in your readings as well. Let's clarify this, this Queen of Cups please. So 
So we have the Eight of Pentacles. Let's clarify this Queen of Wands for Taurus, thank you. Let's clarify this Queen of Wands for Taurus, please. of wands so the I'm going to clarify this three of swords let's do this three of swords please for Taurus thank you okay okay <laughs> So the Three of Swords can be something that's caused you emotional pain. It can be some truth or something that's happened that has caused you emotional pain in a situation. Which is interesting because it's linked to the Ace of Wands. Which can be to do with new opportunity. It's interesting, Taurus, because it feels in this situation something has caused you upset hurt regarding a situation. And the Ace of Wands is, is some kind, it feels like some kind of exciting opportunity here. Um, it is something that promises such potential and growth, but it's caused some upset. And we have the Three of Pentacles, which can be about teamwork, collaboration. Can also be to do with your property or home. It feels in this situation, something's come in. Some kind of opportunity has come in here and it's caused some upset. Or again, it could be, I mean, if you've been starting a new business with somebody, you know, I mean, the Three of Pentacles can be a card of teamwork, collaboration. So if you've, if you've been starting a new business with somebody, it feels like there's some kind of hurt, pain. Something not happening here. What is this Three of Pentacles, please? Let's clarify this Three of Pentacles. It feels like disappointment with regard to some kind of opportunity that you, you've been manifesting. Either it's some kind of business partnership or it's... Yeah... Yeah, you've been manifesting, yeah. So the magician, like we all know, is an energy of um, manifestation. Uh, what you've been focusing on um, and excited. It feels like either starting, it could have been starting a new business with other people, teamwork, collaboration, or it could well be to do with an opportunity. It could be that you've been manifesting some kind of new job opportunity, for example. It feels like there's been some deep disappointment and hurt. It feels in this situation something has fallen through or a business that you were starting, something has been tested, something's caused you upset emotional pain in the situation it feels in terms of money career finances here because again this magician it, this can also be to do with news this can be communication as well it feels something has caused upset hurt and i'm definitely getting that kind of energy here it's testing you it's tested you Thank <laughs> you. 
and this this queen of wands the advice from spirit with this queen of wands and i feel she holds this ace of wands i feel whoever this person is is holding the ace of wands It feels to do with this, Taurus. Um, and she's holding that wand right there. So it feels, again, the Seven of Wands is a card of being challenged. Feeling overwhelmed. Feeling opposition, even. I mean, if something's gone on, I mean, it could be a person as well. It's either a person that has been involved in some kind of money career venture, whether it's jobs, whether it's a new business venture, call it what you will. It feels like someone or a situation has thrown a spanner in the works and it's caused you emotional pain. And it's been a challenge to deal with, that's for sure. And they've been challenging to deal with. But the spirit is saying, don't worry. Don't worry, because you're being given a helping hand. And that, that so makes sense now. What was I saying about this? I said it looks like a gift. You know, the, the wrapped present uh, with the kind of like ribbon on that you're being given by an angel, spirit guide. You see, it's absolutely beautiful the way the cards come out. This is the gift, the helping hand. That is the Ace of Pentacles, which can represent to do with... Um, a new beginning in terms of career or financial opportunity can also be to do with moving relocating so it might well be for some of you that there could have been i mean somebody could have made an offer on your home for example you thought it was all sorted and then it, you were challenged by this person um and the message is don't worry because this can also be about an offer opportunity helping you relocate you know moving relocating that kind of energy it can also be to do with career or financial opportunity coming into you it's a gift from the universe telling you that everything's going to be okay that whatever whatever this challenge is there is some kind of opportunity that is being manifested here so the message is don't worry everything is going to be okay you just keep on focusing on what you need to do stay in your power stand firm stand res resolute and keep going at something um because it feels like somebody is either being disruptive here it feels like somebody that you you trusted or it could be a situation has caused you to feel challenged but there's definitely an energy of you're being given a helping hand so i love the energy here taurus it's a gift from the universe so the message is don't worry because it feels in this situation the <laughs> it feels to do i mean the page of swords can be to do with news information uh communication coming in here and it definitely feels to do with this queen of cups so this is a card of cancer. It could be somebody who is recognizing your talent, your ability. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is somebody who works hard. I mean, it can be a card of the apprentice, the internship as well. Um, but it's also somebody who works hard, enjoys what they do. They've been working hard to bring positive change in their money, career, finances. And the Queen of Cups can either be somebody who recognizes that news from somebody who recognizes that you're getting recognition that you deserve here um or it can be somebody who's helping you work through a situation that has been very challenging to ultimately towards this ace of pentacles which is coming your way so it feels like i mean this can be a real motherly energy a caring a compassionate person a friend a mother um yeah, it could be male or female energy, but somebody who has your emotional, emotional best interest at heart. It give you emotional support, emotional guidance. Um, so helping you work through focus and work through a situation to bring gain and recognition into your life. And it feels that's what you're doing here. You might also be learning a new trade here. And it might well be somebody is helping you do that. Or you might be learning or expanding your skill set. It could be to be more attractive in the workplace, call it what you will. Um, 
because the the hermit is an energy of illumination from within in how you need to take action deal with something in your external environment and it definitely feels this is an energy of soul searching introspection going within to, to find the way forward i mean it really feels like this is a card of aligning to where you need to be in your external environment because we've got virgo here and we've got the virgo card here and the Virgo card is what this person is helping you do, whether it's to do with some kind of offer, an opportunity that she is offering with this Ace of Pentacles, or whether it's the support and guidance that she's giving you to get towards this point. But either way, it feels like this Hermit energy is aligning you internally. It is finding our internal wisdom direction, finding answers from within on how we need to, to put our energy where we need to focus our energy and time to achieve this, the gift. So I love the energy of this. Love the energy of this Taurus. It doesn't feel so easy here, here I have to say. But, you know, the, ma the magician is, remember, the magician is somebody who owns their power. So this is an energy of don't feel powerless in a situation that has caused you a lot of pain, emotional hurt. It, it feels in this situation, something is coming in now that is going to change things for you, that is going to open a new door because you're being given the helping hand from the universe. So manifest what you need to manifest. Focus on what you need to focus on now. Um, the magician is don't let external environments dictate your energy you know this is somebody who owns their energy it's a card of self-mastery and when you master yourself you understand how you change base metal to gold how you change a negative to a positive um, how you change an idea to reality and for some of you this is the gold that you're manifesting so it feels a very beautiful energy and i'm so pleased that that gift energy came out here it feels very beautiful so I'm going to pull a final message. Yeah, <laughs> three cards. We have Peacock, self-love, time to celebrate you and all your magnificent light. Isn't that lovely? And that's what the magician asks you to do. Shine your light, know your power, know your capability in transforming something now. We have Honeybee, Divine Feminine, you are being called on to rise. You are absolutely being called on to do that. And I love this card, Taurus, because we have Raven, Wise Woman, a change is coming. So for some of you, it definitely feels in this situation, a change is resulting in this, the opportunity. So focus where you need to focus, that is the energy. And it feels like there's help available to you from somebody who cares that is helping align you to this wonderful path it feels very beautiful indeed um, so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you taurus and i will see you next time thank you